Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to use Skyward. Before we begin the actual tutorial, let's take a look at what Skyward is. Skyward is a program that gives parents the ability to see their child's grades, attendance, records, receive communications from the school, emergency procedures, and more. Now, parents, more than ever, it's critical that the school is able to communicate with parents in a safe, secure, and immediate manner. There are going to be times when we need to know, when you need to know something immediately. Some examples, a bus breaks down and will not be arriving on time, an unexpected weather event that forces the school to close, a mechanical malfunction in the school that requires the school to close, any sort of medical emergency or any unforeseen emergency where parents need to be alerted immediately. If your information is updated in Skyward, you will be notified about anything that's happening within the school, in the district, in a timely manner. How often should you log into Skyward? You should log into Skyward every time you change your phone number, every time you change your email address. If you need to add delete or change an emergency contact number. There may be times where you need to add somebody, an emergency phone number, and you don't have time to call the school. You can just log into Skyward and do that. You can log into Skyward anytime you want to see your child's attendance, your child's grades, or your child's report card. This is an important thing to note. Parents have different access than students. If you are logging into Skyward using your student account, you don't have the ability to change the information that is needed so that we can communicate with you. Please make sure you log in as a parent. You as a parent have your own unique username and password. If you don't know it, please contact the school and we'll get it for you. To access Skyward, you go to the district's homepage located at www hasdk12.org, then click on the Skyward icon. The next step is to enter your username and password. If you do not have a username and password, please go to the school with your photo ID and someone will give you the information. If you forget your username and password, the school can reset your password. It will be emailed to the email address we have on file. It's important that you are logging in with a parent account, not a student account. If this is your first time logging into Skyward, the system will ask you to change your password. If you've logged in before, you will not be asked to change your password. Once your password is changed, the school can only reset the password. We cannot see what it is. Once you have successfully logged into Skyward, what you need to do is click on the My Account button in the top right, you'll see the red arrow pointing to it. Again, click on the My Account button. This is where you will be able to edit your personal information. The My Account page is where the school will look to find your phone number, your cell phone, and your email. This page is only available with parent access. This is where you can change or add your phone numbers and email. If the school needs to call you, this is where we will find your phone number. If you don't keep this up to date, we will not be able to communicate with you. This page also tells us what your email address is. Please keep this up to date. When the school or the school district sends out a mass email, the emails are pulled from this page. Many times parents don't change their email or don't change their phone number and they're not contacted and the reason is the information has not been updated in Skyward. Please keep this current. If you so desire, you can receive daily email notifications regarding your child's attendance by clicking the Receive Daily Attendance Notification button. This can be particularly helpful with our middle school students. Your child's attendance record will also appear on your opening home screen of Skyward if you select a wall message. However, it is important to reiterate over and over again, we cannot communicate with you if the information on these pages are not kept up to date. In the left-hand corner of the screen, there is a Family Access drop-down button. 
simply click that button and you will see all of your registered children. Select the child that you want to see. Once you select a child, their personal screen will come up and you can access their report cards, their attendance information, emergency information, change information, and more. From this page, you can access all the information we have on your child using the menu bar on the left-hand side of the page. You could see their student information, you can see test scores, you can see report cards and attachments, you can see sky alerts, health information, login history, and you can register a new child online using the student online registration button at the top. On this page, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a red arrow and it says request changes for, in this case it says Jacob, but if you click on it, that would be your child, you will see a menu drop down. The first menu item is student information. Here you can add additional phone numbers for a specific child. This helps in cases where children see different family members on different days. The next link is family address. This can only be changed at the district office. You have to go to the district office with proof of your new address. Emergency information. This is where you can add any kind of medical information as well as any uh, critical information. You will see these slides on the next page. And the last one is add emergency contact. So you can add and delete emergency contact information for each child. This can be particularly helpful in cases where children see different family members on different days. Also, in cases of custody disputes where different people have different custodies, you can remove those who don't have the current custody. Keep this page updated to the best of your ability. This is a simple screenshot of what you will see when you click on the link that says emergency information. You can add a physician, a dentist, the hospital, the insurance, or if you have critical information about the child, you would add it in the left-hand box. This is a screenshot where you would add emergency contact information. If you wanted to add a new person or persons or delete people, this is what it would look like. We hope that this information was helpful. Please contact your child's school with any Skyward questions and remember, keep your information up to date.